It was a special homecoming for Top Chef finalist Nina Compton Miller, who has returned home after her whirlwind appearance on Bravo's Top Chef reality show, making it all the way to the finals. Nina Compton is now with friends, family and countrymen as she prepares to be celebrated for her outstanding ambassadorial work for St. Lucia and the profession itself. Nina Compton Miller was met at the Huanara International Airport by a delegation comprising family, the Ministry of Tourism, the Hotels and Tourism Association and the St. Lucia Tourist Board. Good afternoon everybody. Um, I am extremely excited and very thrilled to be back home and the actual point when the plane touched down I felt like this is it. I couldn't savor this moment any better. I am very excited to thank everybody in St. Lucia for the support that I had doing the show and the love and the inspiration I provide with many people back home including the youth of my old school uh, Cashby's Comprehensive. So, I'm very excited to be back here to do these events and to give back and say thank you. And as I said on the show, my main goal was to put Selush on the map, which we did. So I'm, gl I'm glad that I got to do that and made St. Lucia a household name. So I want to bring us to the next level in every way possible. And I'm glad to be in this position as the first culinary ambassador. So it's very exciting for me and I can't wait for this week. Thank you. On behalf of the government of St. Lucia, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you home. Um, I can tell you, Nina, fever is going to hit St. Lucia once again, especially when the public is sensitized to the fact that you are here and they will get the, the opportunity to touch flesh, come close to this person who they followed and supported for weeks on end. Look forward to seeing that finale. What pleased me most, Nina, I can tell you, is that not just your acceptance of, the, of, of, of serving as culinary ambassador for St. Lucia for one year. To me, that came almost naturally and most naturally because during the course of the show, we realized the fact that you never forgot where you came from. You always referred to the fact that you were St. Lucian, the fact that you wore those earrings that everybody, everyone can distinctly recall. We, we thank you for naturally coming out there and placing this showcase in the country of your birth. And we hope that the relationship that we have with you for one year initially, that we hope this is going to endure for many years, that this relationship can blossom from strength to strength. That we not only see it showcase St. Lucia as a destination, but help you as an individual as well to hone in on who really distinctly who you are the things that, that, that made you this natural chef on this program as well. So I thank you. I welcome you back to St. Lucia. It's going to be a, a hectic week, as we said, because there are many activities that, that we have and we have planned, which will, obviously, we're trying to make sure that everybody can get as much of Nina as they can within the short space of time. But at least during this time here, that you enjoy your stay back home and we look forward to future visits from you and our collaborations in the future. Thank you once again and welcome home. More importantly for us as a tourism destination, we welcome your success in the culinary discipline. And it now gives us a point of emphasis where we can differentiate ourselves from all the competition, having had, you know, a, a chef of your stature. You know, to, to represent, well, I know you were representing a particular dimension, but we claimed you as our ambassador even before you signed on. Um, there are lots of things that, you know, we can do and we're very happy that you have agreed to partner with us in that, in, in that respect. Um, as we always say, tourism is really the lifeblood of what transpires in St. Lucia and your assistance in putting us out there in the marketplace. Um, we really embrace it and we're very thankful that you have agreed, you know, to be a culinary ambassador for us for the next year. I'm sure, you know, after having that experience, you may want to extend it further, but we'll also be very happy to have you, you know, for as long as you would like. Um, we know we have a very packed agenda for you for the week coming up. 
It will be the actual session where you'll be meeting the public and I can assure you that the, no matter how many times somebody may have explained to you over the phone or for email um, your popularity in St. Lucia, trust me, when you feel it for the first time, it will be far greater than what has been said. Nina Compton is the daughter of former Prime Minister and father of the nation, Sir John Compton. Her run on Bravo's top chef energized the nation as they followed her travails, the highs and lows on and off the show. You will see more of Nina Compton as the week progresses. Still to come on Calabash Community, the Chosel Youth and Sports Council and its campaign to save lives on the nation's roads.